Welcome to my channel where today I'm going to be reviewing this new dynamic duo Xerxes card that you can get from level 10 in the season rewards. Already done a review on Anuoni. I just want to be able to compare the two of them just to see which card is the better of the two. So looking at the card itself, he's six foot four, so he's quite a tall striker. Low medium work rates, three star, three star. Now, if we're going with this three star, three star, we already know with uh, Anuoni that it worked pretty okay. Yes, ideally you want an upgrade, but I think again, similar to like him. Probably thinking towards maybe down the line with future evolutions to get a boost to that department. Positions wise, exactly the same. Striker centre forward. He's only got the three play styles, which are three interesting ones. Power shot, pinged pass and aerial. I think the aerial one will be definitely the most interesting one, especially with him being quite tall. But moving into the in-game stats. So, he's got pretty good ball control and dribbling on the card already. Shooting-wise, he's got pretty nice balanced out stats. And he's got very good finishing and attack positioning on the card. Pace is only 84, so I'm probably looking up maybe wanting to get that boosted a little bit. Going back to the dribbling, he's got middle of the road agility and balance. 95 strength should come in very handy with him also being six foot four. I think chem style wise, I might ignore boosting the pace and do a similar thing that I did with Anawanyi and go with a shooting and dribbling boost. So the finisher on the card. But let's check out the team that I'm using him in. Here's the team that he's in. So as you can see, the Prem Serie A hybrid. Because he plays for Bologna, the limited amount of club links to him. There was literally just this inform Carlson. And there's inform Orsolini, which hmm, looks so-so. I think Carlson doesn't look too bad. And Carlson, once in an evolution down the line, might be a very good card to have. But, obviously, that is one thing to take into consideration when picking him, I guess. But, let's get into a game and see how the card itself performs. Does he want to make a run into the box? You're a striker, and you stayed at the edge of the box for that. Although, the shot was on target, but that is very alarming. Especially considering that you're getting forward, getting behind... Uh, an all that Malark. He is on the right side of the goalkeeper, to be fair, to take that. Oh, man. Wait, please. Did that? Did he just shoot that over from that point? Or was that the cross? I might have to have a look at that again afterwards in editing. Take that. Oh, man. Good, good ball control. Nice, getting around the defender. It's on target, I guess. But you want a bit more height on it to really challenge the goalkeeper, though. All right, he's in the right sort of position now. Good, keeping hold of that. Good ball control there. And he gets his first goal. All right, come on then. Make that forward run. <sighs> Didn't get a pass. Made a good run, but we didn't get the pass off to him, which is a shame. And now we concede again. Come on, turn. Ah, oh, he's hit the post. That turn wasn't the most smoothest of turns either, to be fair. Go on, over the top. Nice volley. Good. Two goals. He's had a good amount of shots. Probably should uh, be having more than two goals at this point. But at least this is keeping me in the game. Good. Nice pass. Let's go uh, down the wing. He's pretty open there. Pass it off again. Over the top. and Not quite. Need to use a bit more of his height. I think we need to try and get some crosses in to him somehow. Good. Hold off the defender so we can get the shot off and hat trick for him. There we go. That height and that strength is going to easily keep off certain defenders. 
I think if, if it's a certain defender, like maybe your, your Ledley Kings, your Varans, might be a bit more of a struggle. But against Darmian, going to be a little bit of an easy situation. Go on, over the top, keep hold of it. Ah, I just don't like the, the, the fact that he feels heavy on some of the first touches. Good. That's actually a nice little play there. He chipped in with one of the passes in that attack. So now we're properly back in the game now at 4-4. Go on. He's open. Try and go over the top. Use that strength. Get a header off. Not the most cleanest of headers, but we still got the ball. One, two. Volley. Hey! Why did I say volley? I mean... Hey, shoot. Get a fourth goal. We're in the lead now. Four goals for him is pretty good going. Okay, come on. This is where I want to try and cross it to him. Doesn't matter. It goes to Awa. I really want to try out the heading with him a little bit. We haven't really been able to properly test that out. This. All right, come on. That's pretty open. Come on. Pass it off or something. No, we lose the ball. Again, tried to do something fancy with his like dribbling, but his turning and stuff was not the quickest, especially at pace. However, four goals from him is a valiant effort in trying to at least get me to win. But I lost, so it sucks a little bit. So I'm going to compare him now to Onowanyi because they're both the level 10 options and I think they're the best two to be probably taking from it. But in particular, which of the two is the one that is more ideal to take? So thinking about links to get them into a team comfortably. Nation-wise, obviously Xerxy being from a top nine nation, there's a lot more better pop possibilities for it however the premier league in my opinion has a better pool of players to be picking from overall like yes Serie ha uh, has great players in it but in terms of options it's a lot more limited like you only probably got one or two players per position whereas in with prem you could argue with a lot of the cases, you might have three, four, potentially even maybe five or s options for certain positions. Then moving into club links, I would say Nottingham Forest just about edges it as well. Moving into the actual cards themselves and like how they performed in game, Xerxes was pretty g good. Uh, the dribbling, the fact that he felt a bit heavy is a negative however he did get full goal so shooting's pretty much on point and good the 84 pace pretty much felt adequate with the finisher chem style on him but i wouldn't say the chem the finisher helped enough in my opinion to really make him comfortable on the ball uh overall i don't think there is honestly much difference between the two of them in game only difference I feel in game between the two of them is I think Xerxes can do a bit better in the passing department than on a one year. If I had to pick between the two of them, I think I'm going to more recommend on a one year just because a Prem team is a lot easier to build than a Serie A team. But I think it just boils down to which of the ones that you can more comfortably easily fit into your team if you're going to use them. But that is my thoughts and opinions on this and that is my review done. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye guys.